Hello. Hello, my name is Marcus Lai. I'm 33 years old and an installation and heating engineer with the company Hubert Maurer in southern Germany. Today I'm going to service a heating system and finish with a flue gas measurement with the Testo 330 in order to ensure safe and efficient operation. First of all, I attach the Testo 330LL securely and easily to the boiler using the magnets on the rear. I then connect the flue gas probe to the underside of the instrument using a bayonet fitting. The instrument is switched on and the zeroing, or calibration, begins. Thanks to the fresh air valve, the flue gas probe could already have been in the flue during zeroing. I removed the boiler cover in order to be able to measure the gas flow pressure with the Testo 510. To do this, I first close off the gas cock. I then unscrew the measurement connection and connect the silicone hose of the instrument to the measurement connection. Thanks to the magnets on the rear, I can attach the instrument directly to the boiler. The instrument is now switched on and the gas cock open. I'm now going to start up the system so I can measure the gas flow pressure. As I can see, the gas flow pressure is okay, so the system can be operated safely. Thanks to the Testo 510's backlit display, I can read off the value clearly and legibly, even in poor light conditions. I now select the menu item, flue gas, and select the fuel, in this case natural gas. I then start the measurements, and thanks to the core flow function in the Testo 330 long life, the core flow is quickly and easily located. Once I've found the optimum position for the flue gas probe, I allow the system to run for about two minutes at full load in order to then take over the flue gas values. I now stop the measurement. I can now read off the following values. The CO2 value is in the optimum range. The CO value is 0 ppm, which is excellent. The flue gas loss is 2.2%, resulting in a degree of effectivity of 97.8%. I'd like to use an example calculation to illustrate the importance of flue gas measurement. Let's assume your heating costs are 3,000 euro a year. If the degree of effectivity deteriorates by 3% because of a lack of maintenance, that would cost you an additional 90 euro annually. In order to document the measurement values, I print them out using the wireless infrared printer. After finishing the service work, I check the tightness of the gas fitting using the Testo 510. For this purpose, I switch off the system and close the gas cock. The gas connection pressure should now remain constant and should not drop at all. Servicing is now finished. Thanks to the new Testo 330 Long Life, I've been able to record all the most important parameters. This guarantees secure and efficient operation of the system. The big advantage for me are the long-life sensors, which are largely maintenance-free and are protected from too high CO concentrations by fresh air dilution. That saves me a lot of time and money.